What is going on, everyone? It's your boy, the Furnish Dude, and I'm back at again with another video. So today, video, we'll be talking about the character of Lloyd. Now, before we even start the video, I just want to let you know there's a, a quick um, voting process. So you decide who you want as your favorite ninja in the comment section below. You can vote which ninja do you like the most and which ninja you like the least. And so, yeah. If, okay, let's just get on with the video. All right, so Lloyd is part of Master Wu's team of ninja, and he was the fifth person ever to join a ninja team he's the as far as i can tell he's the youngest out of all the ninja he holds the elemental power of energy he's the elemental master of energy he's the son of the evil lord garment on and also he's the leader of the ninja team and so he's now the actual leader, the current leader of the ninja team before we knew lloyd he was a grumpy kid he will fall he wanted to follow Lord Garmin footsteps of becoming evil. But now he changed. He changed. And then as a kid, he realized he was destined to become the Green Ninja. And after when he realized he was destined to become the Green Ninja, the four ninjas, which is Kai, J. Cole, and Zane, and along with Master Wu, wanted to teach Lloyd of becoming the Green Ninja and becoming a, the best ninja he could be. So he could defeat his father and what you call it, bring peace to Ninjago. And my thoughts about this character, I think this character, um, growth, he grown a lot, really. He really grown a lot. Realizing that, um, like, he really, like, he really changed a lot. From, from a grumpy kid to becoming a more mature, mature ninja, he matured a lot. Out of the all of six of them, he matured the most. Because, well, as you all know, he, as I said before, he's the youngest out of all the ninja team. And also the leader as well. And my thoughts on this character, this character is an all right character. I really, I don't hate, I don't necessarily hate this character. I used to hate this character when he was young. But besides from that, I really enjoyed this character. He's, he's like my second favorite, just like Zane is. But yeah, let's just continue with the video. So with um, his weapons, with his weaponry. Um, he, in my opinion, in my thinking, he fight, he used to fight with katana blades. Like, he had dual katanas. But now, he don't fight with dual katanas anymore. He actually, um, fights with, between Sons of Garmino and Hunted, he fighted with, um, a mesh, or like, some type of sword. Like, it was a, it's a, it's a look of some type of sword. It's a sword, basically. He fights with only one sword, but it's a mesh, something like that. And... Lloyd was one of the person in the ninja team that ever tapped into golden powers. He, he was the first. Him and Zane both defeated the um, Overlord before. First one from Lloyd from season two, which we have the first, and Zane from the second from Rebooted. And this character's strengths. This character is, I find, the most powerful character in Ninjago. And also seems like the cool he's like the coolest but in my opinion he's like the strongest because of his power rate because since he was like the one of the people who could tap into golden powers he seems like powerful in my opinion he's powerful and some of his flaws my flaws that uh, well some flaws of lloyd i don't see how lloyd has any flaws to begin with since he matured out of his flaws but my thinking of his flaws is that, well, he's more likely, he's, since he took the Tomorrow's Tea and turned into an adult, I mean, turned to, like, the age of the ninjas, he's more likely a little kid in an adult body. That's how, basically, I see him. But, like, pretty much, yeah, Lloyd, is, he's pretty much he matured enough, and... He changed throughout his childhood, realizing that he has a lot of things at stake. And so the ratings of this character, I would like to give this character a, a 9.5 or a 10. This character I have really enjoyed the most because he, after when his father died, he wanted to follow the path of becoming a true Spinjitsu master. That's pretty much what he wants to become that's like his dream and his goal and with that being said yeah lloyd has matured the most out of the ninja team and he also changed physically as well 
And so how he looks. How this character looks. Okay, so this character used to have um short hair when he was young. He had short hair, short fadeaway hair, some something like that. But now he had long hair. And now now his hair is more thicker than before. Before his hair was thick, but now his hair got even thicker. So he had thick hair. Um his eyebrows gotten longer. I mean no gotten a little bit bigger. And his eyes gotten green. It turned green basically. So so yeah. Pretty much that's how he looks. Because since the Lego Job movie, you know, changed everything. That's from Hunted and Sons of Garnon, that's how he looks with longer hair and thicker thicker hair and green eyes and you know yeah, yeah, that's pretty much how he looks of it right now. And my thoughts on this character, I give him a 9.5 out of 10. This character is amazing. He's powerful and the leader of the ninja team. He plays many roles and he's the, he's the most person ever to have the most seasons. From season 2, season 5, and season 8. And so yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.